Hi guys, this is Kevin for Pixavert.com. In this video, we're going to look at how to apply tints in GIMP. We will start off with an ordinary image, apply a tint to it, and then see if we can edit the tint later on. The technique works very well with some photos, with other photos it just doesn't work at all. You can also use the technique to create a kind of a painting like this. This is a black and white image. I've applied some color to it using the paintbrush. We're going to be working on this image. And the first thing I want to do is to show you the colorize filter. So we go to colors, colorize, and this is a filter which has been around in GIMP for a long time. Here we just choose the hue to give us the color. And it runs from red at the left through the greens, cyans, blues, magentas. We've also got a saturation. This starts off at 0.5. I'd recommend taking it down to 0.25. And then there's the lightness. That starts at zero. I would recommend keeping it at zero. You can choose a color using the color picker. And this allows you to choose a color using one of a number of different techniques standard color picker here, CMYK, this very useful color wheel. Any of those techniques can be used, but I would recommend just adjusting it so that the saturation is around 0.25 and lightness is at zero if those change whilst you're using the color picker. We hit OK and we're done. Let's undo that and look at the second technique. Let's create a new layer, make it transparent, and as long as you've chosen the foreground color as the color you want for your tint, just drag it into the image or choose edit, fill with foreground color, then change the blend mode to color LCH. If you can't find the color LCH, just click here and choose default and that gives us our tint. Third technique is very closely related to the previous two and we can look at the third technique which is to go to colorize on the second layer and then apply the colorize filter once again allowing us to choose whatever color tint we want. So that third technique is very flexible. It allows you to continue working whilst you've got your color tint and then come back and change it later on if you want to. That is going to be it for this video. I hope you found some of that useful. I hope you find some uses for these techniques later on. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you later. Bye.